Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see what is a reusable block in Gutenberg and how to add and edit one in WordPress. So let's get started. Here I am in the dashboard of my WordPress website. So let's go to posts and uh, click on add new. And uh, we'll just add a title to our post. Now we'll create a simple reusable block over here. So we'll create a reusable block for our social media handles. So let's click on this plus sign over here and uh, we will first of all add a column. So here in layout elements we have columns. So click on columns and uh, we have these two columns over here. We'll select this and uh, we will set the columns as three because we'll be adding Facebook, Instagram and uh, Twitter. You can even add blocks over here by pressing forward slash and then you get all these suggestions over here. You can just search for what you want. So we can see buttons is displayed over here. So we'll click on button and uh, just click over here and uh, type Facebook. Now you can paste in the URL of your Facebook ID over here. We'll go ahead and uh, right align this. And uh, here we will add one more button. And here we will type Twitter. And we will align it to the center. And then we'll create one more button called Instagram. And uh, we will leave it as left aligned. And also remember to enter the URLs of your social media accounts over here. Or right, so once you've done that, click on the column right here and then select these three dots over here and click on add to reusable blocks and then here you can name your reusable block so we'll just name it social media and then click on save right our block has been updated now we'll just click on publish and publish again now if we click on view post we can see our reusable block right here so this is basically how you create a reusable block. Now let's see how to edit a reusable block and what are the benefits of using a reusable block. So let's go to the second post over here and click on edit. And we will go all the way down over here. And after this paragraph, we will add our reusable block. So just type forward slash and start typing social media. So here we can see our uh, reusable block. Just click on that. And uh, here we can see the block that we created. And if we click on edit, we can edit this block. And the cool thing about reusable block is that once you make some changes to your block over here, it will be updated to every instance of this reusable block in your website. So let's go ahead and change the colors of these buttons. So for Facebook, we will go ahead and uh, choose a custom color and we will enter our color code over here so the color code for Facebook is 3B5998 and then for Twitter we will add another custom color 00ACEE and for Instagram we will add E1306C alright so these are our changes now let's go ahead and click on save and here we can see it says block updated. Now let's click on update over here for our post. Now if we click on view post over here and if we scroll down, we can see our um, social media share buttons over here, which is a reusable block. Now let's go to the third post over here and see whether uh, uh, the block has changed over there. And we can see the block has changed over here as well. We will just preview it. So reusable blocks can be pretty useful if you want to add content that will appear on a lot of your pages. And call to actions like this are one of the candidates for a reusable block. 
and if you want to separate this particular instance of uh, reusable block from all the other blocks all you can do is go over here and uh, then click on more options and then click on convert to regular block and once you do that this will be separated from all the other blocks so whatever changes you make over here will not affect the other blocks alright now let's add one more thing to our uh, reusable block and for that we will follow a different method so over here we'll go to plus sign and then scroll down and go to reusable and click on manage or reusable blocks and uh, here you can see a list of all the reusable blocks you have created so let's click on edit on social media and we'll just remove the rounded corners from these buttons so we'll click on this squared buttons all right now we'll add a row so just click on more options and uh, then click on insert before and uh, here we will have a heading and uh, we will select h4 and here we will type hi guys follow me on and we'll align it to the center all right so these are the changes that we made to our block let's click on update and the block has been updated now let's go to our posts and let's view both these posts and see whether the changes have been made to our posts so if we scroll down we can see the heading and the changes that we made to our buttons we will check the second post as well and we'll scroll down and here we can see the headings and the changes that we made so this is basically how you create and edit reusable blocks in wordpress for gutenberg Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.